Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max I am in the Cortana you guys can see yeah 64 megapixel focus yeah this is the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max I have flashed this custom ROM here on my device this is a HyperOS, Xiaomi HyperOS 1.0.23.111.17 developer preview this is and storage mine is 64 GB I mean the 6 GB 64 base variant details info and specs if I go here you can see it has recognized as a Redmi Note 9s but mine is Note 9 Pro Max as I shown before and RAM extended RAM up to 4 GB has been used in this particular ROM OS version you can read and Android version is again it's an Android 14. You can see the Easter egg of Android 14. Yeah, model number and baseband version. Kernel user is 4.14.329. Kinesis R2 kernel has been used here. And this is the status of this particular ROM. And before going to settings and everything, if you li like the video, give it a like, guys. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll start with the home screen itself. As you can see, if I press and hold here, go to wallpapers here. Super wallpapers, it will get downloaded or not? Yeah, it will be get downloaded. Shape and shadows, this is the latest one. And uh, Wabby Sabby and uh, nature patterns, you guys can see. And textures I like this textures currently this is my wallpaper as you can see if I can press and hold here into the wallpapers yeah it is getting downloaded the super wallpapers remains same as me at 12.5 13 and even 14 and this Xiaomi hyper OS all are the same natural and textures crystallization is still available this is older version of MIUI those wallpapers I really like it it's still available and some more system wallpapers if you want uh, furthermore you can find out in the themes section widgets again you get categories and discover plenty are given here into the category again you can find out recommended is given if you want you can drag and add them for example these animals as you can see there is a little bit of lag in the way for example i will add this dog here as you can see now it is added to the home screen and you guys can see it's still in here the multitasking is little bit lag here as you can see downloading themes i mean those super wallpapers and adding home screen these widgets have some sort of lag in the ui i have noticed since from the beginning once i flash this rom that's the only downside and there is one more i'll explain within a while home screen settings again you get this kind of customization here into the settings again transition effects you get and set default scheme don't show text and home screen layout you get just 4 into 6 and 5 into 6 you can lock home screen and more settings will be explained within a while and that's it we'll show you in the themes too and dialer you get a proper MIUI dialer here as you can see direct protocol feature is available but i'm using bsnl sim here hence you are not getting and call recording feature is given it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call which is nice thing many people like it into the settings also i will show you as you can see call recordings their call block list features exceptions block numbers block list notifications everything you can customize here advanced settings as you can see again you can go through once you flash this rom for note 9 pro max or note 9 pro or the poco m2 pro note 9s and redmi note 10 Lite. all these kind of same devices hardware msf just here and there charging speeds and uh, camera application changes this is the settings panel you can see there is a smoothness in the ui but it's not consistent enough and this is the quick settings panel new quick settings panel and for some reason i did not found the settings panel here and other toggles in the edit section there are few i already added few of them if you want you can redrag them and add into the edit section or vice versa you can see torch light there are some animations too for example dark mode as you can see it's cool uh ui lag i have noticed a bit but into the system settings and all i haven't faced any issues as of now but it's not stable enough this and ported rom maybe hope so we'll get some more good rom after certain period of time 
then we can accept expect some of the good roms and one more problem in this rom is the camera as you can see completely the camera is dead in this ui not just this even i try to install gcam again here too it's same not just these two go into gallery i will show you this as you can see couldn't load camera even i can't even uh, recognize i mean register the face unlock because of this camera dead issue in this particular room this is a big thing camera is main thing then i don't recommend this to be used as a daily driver for anyone uh, but anyhow if you want to try that out then you can do but moreover i don't like it as you can see this is how the quick settings nothing change here just a uh, organized in different manner we'll go to settings straight away uh, my device i already shown this lan i mean the internet connectivity settings bluetooth settings mobile networks all these things as you can see there is some animations and interconnectivity you get these kind of options here that going to be a reason specific uh, more connectivity options again these all the things you get then is cast screen and all on wallpapers and personalization here actually yeah it is getting forced close for some reason if i press into this lock screen keep stopping that's the main thing you need to be used but it is getting forced close what we do guys that's how it is what's available that is only i can show you all this on display is good it's going to work fine let me show you always now we'll do that yeah by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new videos of this note 9 pro max or poco m2 pro note 9s whatever it is as you can see for some reason the always on display is also not working in this particular rom for me at least icons again you can organize them nothing fancy here just this lock screen is the main thing which is not going to work here notification styles again you get these kind of options here control center style old and new and i think fancy too this is what i can explain display and brightness again you get some of the options color scheme options also you get extraordinary options here as you can see original color pro and adaptive colors and you can even choose the uh, warm and coolness of the display that i really like it but i don't understand what's the problem in the ui it's not completely optimized as of now this is the sound and vibration and fingerprint unlock and face unlock face unlock as i said camera is not working then how would i register that yeah this is the fingerprint unlock speeds you guys can see uh, that's how it is and dialer i already explained you only get get apps for some reason i able to install chrome and sign in to my google account but for some reason i am not getting any google account i mean the play store or anything like that i found to install at least and to from that get apps application you guys can see the score 3,96,283 and temperature raise was around 0.4 degree celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped i want to show the cpu throttling and other results too but for some reason uh, in the rom play store is unable to install this how the uh, custom rom guys additional settings will show you accessibility gesture shortcuts you get plenty here quick ball which is no one going to use it one-handed mode clear speaker screen recorder tab plus and memory extension as i said up to 4 gb floating windows is also given everything is going to work fine additional app features is also given these are the things you should look out for this hyper os port for note 9 pro max i think for 6 gb variant it's too much laggy and the camera dead feature and there is no google play support for this rom i don't think so it is a daily driver rom but just a first uh, view i am just showing this out into the gallery again this how the charging speed i mean the 33 watt charging support is given into the mode you get create pdf recognized text recognized table adjust productive watermark set as well but these things are given every app is updated but it's not stable enough to use it as a deliverer that's my conclusion guys stay tuned to my channel guys you'll be getting a lot more videos on note 9 pro max too stay tuned to my channel we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now